Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and today's video, which is a massive kids clothing haul for summer 2021. And yes, there is just one item snuck in there for me too. So today's haul contains items from H&M, Next, Jules and Bowdoin and there is something for each of my four children. I've bought more than I actually need and various sizes to try and compare to. So I need your help in the comments letting me know which things you think I should keep and which should go back. So before we get into the haul, I just want to say if you're new here, welcome. Please do subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. I do loads of haul videos. I'm back to doing shop with me videos as well. I do lots of vlogs, speed cleans, organisation, all that kind of thing. I hope you will love it. Now let's start with a few bits from H&M and then we will get the children in to try things on. Now I've bought these dresses for my girls in two sizes each because I genuinely had no idea which size was going to be more appropriate. If you've seen my channel before you'll know that I've got Bella who is six but very very tall with very long legs and I've got Zara who is four but quite petite. So Zara is sort of on the much smaller end. She can probably wear some two to three type stuff that would still fit. Some of those things in her wardrobes do still fit whereas Bella has been wearing more like seven to eight clothes. The options for these dresses were a two to four or a four to six for Zara and I really am reluctant to buy things on the smaller size. I like buying my children clothes that they're going to more grow into than they're almost out of but I thought just getting the four to six might absolutely drown her. So those are the two sizes I've got for Zara in pretty much everything I've got here. So what I'm going to do is once I've shown you the stuff try the things on the girls and then see which size is most appropriate as well as which patterns and designs of dresses that we want to keep too. So sizing wise I'm just going to say it now because I've done the same for everything. So we've got the two to four and the four to six for Zara. The six to eight which might work for Bella but I've also got an eight to ten. So if I can get away with it I would rather keep the larger sizes for the children but we're going to have to see. Let me know in the comments how you find the H&M kids clothing sizing and see which ones you reckon are going to fit the girls. Now on to what the actual clothing is. I'll just open one of each of the sizes to show you for now and then we'll do a size comparison of the items of clothing when I get the girls in here to try them on. So this is a really sweet little dress with butterflies, flowers, things like that. This is the two to four that I happen to have grabbed. Will that fit Zara? I don't know if that is... It probably would fit her actually. So I'm going to try and ignore the numbers and just buy the things that are fitting most appropriately that aren't totally drowning her. But equally, she's not just out of either. So I really like this sweet little dress. This was 2 dollars which is a flipping bargain. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I can just see them running around the garden in those in the summer. But equally at 2 dollars I'm not going to be crying. They get paint on them, that kind of thing. So I've got one of those for each of the girls. I'm leaning towards, yes, I will keep at least one of the sizes of these for the girls because they're just so sweet. What do you think? Gorgeous. And if it is a bit cooler, we can put leggings. I have got quite a lot of leggings, actually. Um, we can put leggings underneath that and a little cardigan. I've got some of those to show you too. Now these unicorn dresses, I already debagged these, so I can show you all of these. So we've got a two to four. That's the same size as we showed you before. This one is a six to eight that would potentially be for Bella they didn't have I remember this one they didn't have the four to six in this so it'll have to be the two to four or nothing for this these again were only 2 dollars bargain. So okay that's, I said we were gonna, weren't going to show sizes were we, until the girls came in. I lied. That's the six, the eight to ten and that's the six to eight. So let's just have a really quick comparison on the length. Oh the eight to ten is quite a bit longer. I do find though, let me know if you find this in the comments, that even within one store, if you go different styles, the sizing might be different for adults and children actually. So I'm assuming as these are pretty much probably all cut literally from the same pattern because they are just little sleeveless dresses, then if I know they're the right size for one of the dresses, they'll be the right size for all of them. Anyway, I just know they're going to adore those. Unicorns, summer dresses, what's not to love? Next dress we've got, again, I've got these in various sizes to try. Tropical fruit dresses. I just thought these were so cute. These are only 2 dollars as well. Bargain. They're just so beautiful. So really bright, 
vibrant, summery. I'm just, I'm filming this. Actually, having been at the garden today, it hasn't been raining, but I have been wearing Ugg boots and I am wearing a jumper. So I'm feeling very optimistic and hoping we're gonna get some sunshine too. But all through the summer, the girls will be able to wear these. I'm hoping. Please, please, let's have a nice British summer that is kind to us and we can actually get some sunshine. Another $2.99 bargain dress of the same style. Again, these are so gorgeous. I love the girls in these. Can't wait to hear which ones they like. So far, which of the dresses should I keep? Which should I send back? I mean, these are such bargains, $2.99 each. Let me know which ones you think we should go for. Now, this dress is a different style. This is more like a little cat sleeve dress, gorgeous though. Still the same kind of jersey cotton material, bit of give, bit of stretch in it. I guess these are daisies. This one is the, oh gosh, four to six. See, that is supposed to be a four to six. That looks absolutely enormous. There's no way that'll fit Zara. That, that's more like Bella's size. Gosh, look at the difference. Okay, right, this is how insane this is. So this one is a six to eight. This one says four to six. So the blue one is a smaller size than the fruity one. Seriously? Right, so I'm really glad I got different sizes actually and didn't just rely on one size because clearly these blue dresses, lovely as they are, are giant sizes. On to leggings, still from H&M. This is a one, two, three, four, five pack of leggings and these have got more narrow sizing. So this is an age four to five. The dresses were in two year banded sizing. So I've just bought four to five for Zara and seven to eight for Bella. So I'm hoping they'll fit. I didn't feel the need when the sizes were a little bit narrower to go for the extra sizes as well and then have just extra stuff to send back. I think these should go quite nicely with some of the dresses that I've bought because let's face it, leggings with the dresses will mean, if it, even if it's a bit chilly, we can pop on leggings and a cardigan and they can still wear their summer dresses through the summer because my intention is to put away their winter clothes. I'm hoping to be able to do it soon. I have been doing this for a few years now and I will be doing it for my own wardrobe as well so make sure you watch out on my channel that video will be coming soon I will let you know on Instagram when that is coming out but I do a big wardrobe switch where I put away all the wintry stuff and I get out the more summery stuff and it just means the whole wardrobe's got more space in it everything's not crammed in and I can see what I've got to choose from then I got this pack which is also a five pack beautiful colors love the colors of these I kind of feel like you can never have enough leggings the girls wear leggings under a lot of their dresses but Bella especially seems to go through the knee of her leggings a lot so hopefully this yellowy one will match some of the yellowy dresses. These are just so cute. They actually wear leggings with dresses most of the winter. They're kind of leaning towards preferring leggings with dresses rather than tights now. And then through the summer, obviously on very hot days, they'll just wear dresses and on cooler days, or perhaps early in the morning or later in the evening, they'll pop on some leggings underneath to keep the little legs warm. Now the last legging set, I bought these because Bella needs red leggings. She had red leggings, she went through the knee of them, so she needs a pair of red leggings. And this pack of leggings was cheaper than buying one pair of red leggings elsewhere. Now I'm worried that this is not actually that red. Mm, see, that's more orange than red. I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep these. I don't know what you think about these guys. They're very muted. I tend to dress the girls in much brighter clothes, as you can see from the other things I've chosen. So I'm not sure that these leggings would really go with anything. They're quite sweet. They've got dinosaurs on them. I'm just not sure they'll actually match anything that they own so therefore it would be a bit of a waste they also feel like a more wintry pack of colors so what do you think send them back right a couple of cardigans for the girls from H&M and some pajamas and then we're moving on to some stuff for well other than school cardigans I can only actually think off the top of my head of one cardigan that the girls currently own that fits them and they've got a yellow cardigan I bought the reason I bought the yellow cardigan is because they are the yellow team in sports day so in advance I saw a yellow cardigan in the sale and I bought it thinking perfect they can wear it for sports day and of course last year they didn't have a sports day because of COVID so anyway fingers crossed they'll get to wear that this year but thinking about it they didn't have any other cardigans that fit. As you know, I tend to dress them in matching clothes when they're home from school at the moment. I worry that this might be the last year I can get away with that before Bella says no more. And I only do it because they're happy to, because they like matching. And I am worried that this is the last year, so I want to make the most of it. Anyway, so I've bought them in twos. It's also easier, not just the fact I think it's cute to dress them the same, but it's actually easier to just buy two of things I like. I find something I like, I just buy in two sizes. Anyway, I have bought these cardigans. So we've got a cream cardigan, which is pretty neutral. We'll go over most things. A navy. They've got navy cardigans, but they're school navy cardigans, and I kind of feel like they need to have a casual navy cardigan. Oh, cute, actually. I've just noticed. It's got a little, can you see? A little heart. Have the others got that? Oh, yeah, that one's got a little silver one. So they're basically the same cardigan in different colors. I think 
I am going to keep all three of these providing they fit because I think at least one of these colours will go over pretty much everything I've bought so far. So whatever I decide to keep, they'll have something to throw over their shoulders if it gets a bit cooler. And then we've got one pair of pyjamas each. Oh no, tell a lie. There are two pairs in each bag. So we've got shorty pyjamas. They've got two shorts. So they've got one pair of plain shorts and then one pair with frozen on them. Can you see that? And then they've got one top with Believe in Yourself with a little bit of Elsa on it and another one whoop, upside down. Upside down, and another one with Bella, the one that Bella calls water ice Elsa when she's you know become the element or whatever she is. So they're really sweet. They were just short of shorty pajamas. I think William's quite okay for pajamas. I think he's had more pajamas recently. I don't tend to buy them all everything. I mean, other than the girls because I buy them things in twos. But then they would naturally grow out of things. I don't buy all of the children's clothes. At the same time, I tend to buy them things more as they need them rather than because their siblings are having something. That being said, William did need a few bits. So I've got a three pack of jersey shorts. I bought these in a nine to 10. I tend to find with shorts, you can get away with smaller sizes for longer. My children are quite slim and tall, quite skinny. So they'll often wear shorts that are a year or even two years younger in size than the rest of their clothes because obviously it doesn't matter because they're shorts. So we've got one that's got North Atlantic Ocean on it, but you know, they're just shorts, aren't they? They're just kind of playing in the garden kind of shorts. A pair of jersey bluey ones. They haven't got pockets or anything. They're quite basic. And some stripey ones. We've got a nice striped t-shirt. I bought for William in an 8 to 10, which I guess is the same as the bigger size for Bella. And he is a bit taller than her. But then these are tops and bottoms, which... It's a bit different to buying the dresses. I just worry with Bella's legs about them being a bit short, which is why I had to buy the different sizes. This t-shirt I loved. Look how cool that is. It's all got, I don't think they move. No, they don't move. It's not one of the changey color ones. It's just really cool and shiny and pretty. So it's a chameleon, a shark, a T-Rex, a crocodile, and a tiger. Then I got a pack of jeans, a two pack of jeans, and I bought those in a nine to 10 too. William's kind of around the year uniform is jeans. And then in when it's very cold, a long sleeve t-shirt. When it's slightly cold to warm, a short sleeve t-shirt, but then when it moves to warm, he wear it goes into shorts. He's quite a hot child, William. He would rather be wearing a bit less because he just runs around so much and gets so hot so quickly. And then the last item from H&M for William is this three pack of denim shorts. So they literally just look like jeans, but they're shorter. So there's a denim pair, a gray pair, and a black pair. So that is enough for William for the bottoms. Between all those shorts, that's enough to see him through the whole summer. These on cooler days, but to be honest, even on cooler days when William says it's summer, he will probably still wear shorts. Then on to some bits for Dylan, my teenager. He actually really doesn't need much in the way of clothes, but he saw some of these like graphic tees and he wanted some. So there's this. I don't actually know what that is. I want to say Rick and Morty, but only because I've heard him say it and not because I actually know what it is. Is that Rick and Morty? It's like a very pale green colour. It'd be nice to see him out of black, so I didn't really mind that. He thought that was cool. I don't even know what it is, so I don't know if it's cool. I can't comment. So these are from the H&M men's section. He's very, very tall. Um, he's probably six foot one, but it's all in his legs and he's very slim. So small men's should do him. And then he's like, ah, oh, Sesame Street, my childhood. I did used to let him watch a lot of Sesame Street. He was really into Elmo. He had a little Elmo that he carried around. So he wanted this. Yeah, this is another black one, isn't it? But I don't know. I think that's kind of cute. And this is a Fantasia Mickey Mouse t-shirt. I do adore this color. I'd wear that myself. On to some bits from next for the girls that I am really excited about. First, I've got these little dresses for them, which I thought I would get because these are a bargain as well. These are only seven pounds, but they've got rainbows, unicorns, and dinosaurs. So let me know if you think we should keep these or some of the H&M ones or just which ones. But for that, I got Bella an age seven. I don't know if that's gonna be big enough for her, not sure. And I got Zara an age four. Four. So these are really sweet, but these are not what I was super excited about. What I was super excited about was, if you are one of my existing subscribers or if you follow me over on Instagram, you will know my favourite film is, hang on, pause the video and guess what my favourite film is. Have you guessed? Have you done it? Guess in the comments. Have you done it? Okay. 
my favourite film of all time is The Sound of Music. And actually Zara is obsessed with it. So these are a few of my favourite things. It's actually a video series that I do on my channel. So my monthly favourites I call these are a few of my favourite things. And in that song is the line, girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. And I've always wanted to get them white dresses with blue satin sashes that I could dress them in and take a photograph because then I will have them captured as one of my favourite things for all time. I've been looking for these dresses for such a long time and I've not found them so I've decided to piece them together myself. So the white dresses I have picked up from Next. These are £14 and quite frankly they're white so <laughs> white dresses are not the most sensible option for little girls as I'm sure you know but I'm adamant. If I don't get them dressing in matching white dresses with blue satin sashes this year, I may never have another chance again for as long as I live and I will be devastated I never did it. So I got this one for Bella, which is age, oh no, I didn't, gosh, that's for Zara. Okay, that's an age four. It looks quite big, Never mind. <laughs> Hopefully it fits her. It's a next generation brand and it's supporting better, more sustainable cotton. It's lovely. This is kind of jersey. This is the, is it broadery lace? Can you see that? So cute. And then Bella's is age seven. Now I couldn't find white dresses with blue satin sashes. So I just bought blue satin ribbon. I'm going to put it around the middles, do a bow at the back. And that, they can be my girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. And you have no idea how happy this makes me. And you have no idea how excited my girls are about this. Next item isn't actually from Next, but it's in the basket with my Next stuff because I realized that the girls don't have shoes that they can wear with like pretty, pretty dresses, namely like these. So these is what made me realize they didn't have the right shoes, but really these shoes they can wear with everything. Look how cute these are. I shall leave a link in that blog post to these as well as everything else I bought. These are leather and they were an absolute bargain price. The girls have already tried these on because they came before everything else and they were thrilled with them. So they're actually, they've got these little flowers on them and they're Velcro so they can get them on and off easily themselves. They'd be good for playing in the garden. And just, if we actually imagine, get to go out, I don't know, for food or something over the summer, that would be the dream, then they could wear these and kind of look a little bit more put together, I suppose. They have got those little sandals from last summer, I'm not sure if they fit, called reefs, but they're kind of more surfy, beachy looking sandals rather than more kind of out for food kind of sandals. So the reefs they'd probably wear more just like knocking around in the garden and these perhaps for more going places, although these would work for the garden too. Next bits are from Bowden and they are some more t-shirts for Will. I realized he barely had any t-shirts at all that fit him because he's grown out of so many from last year. So these, I did have a discount code when I purchased these. Now, if you follow this link and use this discount code, I am an affiliate for Bowden and they send me this code to use and the amount of discount you get with it tends to change but it's generally at least 10 percent but if not it might be a lot more depending on what they've got on if you use that link and that code so we've got a little green polo shirt i do love the bowden stuff it really does wash beautifully i've got this gorgeous little t-shirt with a little stripe which are embroidered i guess a pliqueade it's like ribbon on the arm but it's not ribbon it's with fabric so i guess that's a pliqueade isn't it it's the right term and then Finally, another polo shirt in green cream, red, blue, and navy stripes. I do love the boys, especially in polo shirts. If we are going somewhere, out for food, see, this is a dream. I just want to go out for a meal. <laughs> but um, they do look so smart in a little polo shirt. On to jewels. And these are the bits that I really don't know which bits to keep and which bits to send back. So I do need your help. So these little dresses came as a set with leggings. I do love them. And I've bought for Zara an age four. I've bought for Bella a seven to eight. But I'm now thinking, should I've got a nine to 10 for her? Because I'm looking at it thinking, oh gosh, her legs have just gone so long. So I'll have to try that on her and see. Don't know whether to keep these or send them back. Let me know in the comments what you think. Other option to the blue dresses, similar type thing, but these didn't come with leggings, are these navy dresses for the girls. Now these do have pockets. My girls are never happier than when they've got pockets in their dresses. I'm the same if I'm honest. Then these, how cute are those? gorgeous little denim jackets for the girls. They will look adorable over all of this stuff. So whether they're wearing a cardigan and a dress and a jacket or just popping a little jacket over the top of everything, this will go with absolutely anything I've bought today. So these, I think I would like to keep. They're so cute. They've got the little um, lightning flash. They've got the little B. I have got a Jules ja denim jacket as well. It's a lot plainer than this. It doesn't have the jazzy stuff. But in the summer, when you're wearing kind of pretty floral dresses, chucking a jacket over either first thing in the morning or last thing at night just goes with everything. So if we get to go away, dare I say it, I mean, I can't imagine. We certainly won't be leaving the country. Whether we'll do some staycations, fingers crossed. We'll have to see how things go. But 
that kind of thing would go over everything. These items, last ones before I get the girls up to try things on, these are special because there's a version for me. Ah! Now I'm, these are the dresses. They're very much like the style of the navy dresses for the girls. And again, I've got a seven for Bella and a four for Zara. And again, this might be the last summer that I can persuade Bella at least to match with mummy. So therefore the last summer I could match with my two girls before one of them goes, mm -mm, I'm not doing that because I will not be making them match with me when they don't want to anymore. Very much do it because they want to. Last summer I was wearing an eight in jewels, but then lockdown two and three happened and I have gained some weight. So I'm not sure if the eight or the 10 are going to fit. So this is a much more kind of straight up, straight down t-shirt dress. Oh, with sleeveless. Okay, so it's a sleeveless dress for me. Um, I will have to try it on and see what I think or see what you think as well. I love the pattern. I mean, I'm probably gonna look just really, really pale in this <laughs> right now, trying it on. And I'm probably gonna need the bigger size. We'll need to try it on, have a look. So let's get the children in, try on a few bits that we've bought the size more than anything, see which ones they really love and they fancy keeping and which things they're really not fussed on. Anything they're not fussed on, I don't wanna make them wear, so we'll send back. Let's get them in. So first we have William. Come here, my darling. Shall I show you what I've bought? What do you think? Ooh, that's the best. That's the best, is it? <laughs> right, now Ooh. I just need you to try on one of each of the sizes and tell me if there's anything you're really not fussed on you wanna send back, okay? What do you think of that? Do you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> what about these? Polo Ooh. shirts. And then a green yes. polo shirt. Ooh. It is my favourite. It is your favourite colour. Cool. And then this one. Yeah, it's like my star top. You have got a very similar one, actually. You've got a Bowden one with a star on it, haven't you? Right, so I think all of these, I'm pretty confident all of these are going to fit you. Would you like to try one on? I've also got these shorts. And then we've got these shorts as well. They're like trousers. They're like trousers. Is that funny? <laughs> they're like trousers. Yeah, like well, they they're are. Short. They're short jeans. They're just shorts. <laughs> Wow. But they're like jeans, so they've got pockets. Cool? Wow. Cool. Okay, so go and try. I'm gonna give you a basket of stuff. You can go and try something on for me. I'm gonna get the girls in here. Right, off you go, go and try something on. For some reason, Dylan did not want to participate in this trying on, so he's just having his t-shirts without actually featuring in the video. Now, <laughs> I've got a few different things to show you, but I need to try them on for sizes, okay? Like. You like, like those, do you? You like those, do you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're so like. not cute. Like. Are cute. That's like. a like. That's like. a like. You like those as well, do you? <laughs> okay. Right. Well, let's just try the butterflies on, shall we? Because I know we've got all the sizes in the butterflies, and then we can compare. Come and show us. Well, that that t-shirt fits you perfectly, and the short. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, on the bed. It's on the bed. There we go. Perfect. Do they fit around the waist? Okay. Oh, they're fine. Oh, they've got a pulley in your bit. Cool. Yes. You happy with those? <laughs> yeah. Right, cool. Well, let us know in the comments which of the t-shirts we should keep for Will, because they seem to all fit. So which size is this? This is the six to eight. Okay, stand oh on the bed for me. See, that's actually fine. The six to eight, she is six, but that's kind of, where's your knee? There's your knee. <laughs> that fits nicely, doesn't it? In fact, they go really, it goes really nicely with these leggings. Now the cardigans, I did only buy in one size, so hopefully they'll fit. This one is a seven to eight in the cardigan. What do you think of that? I think that's good. Stand up for me. Oh, that's lovely. There you go. So that'll make that dress suitable for when it's a bit cooler. Come on then, Zaz, up you come. The leggings they already had on seem to be great. Oh, that's more than big enough. Shall we try on the bigger sizes just to compare? Oh. Yeah, just for this dress. I'm not going to open the bigger sizes for everything, but I just want to compare the sizes. Best. What do you think? Zara's looking, I've got a mirror just there. She's looking in. What do you think? Do you like that dress? Okay, excellent. Right, is this cardigan gonna fit you, Missy? Cardi on. Okay. Arms in. Oh, that's nice. That fits beautifully, doesn't it? Arms out. Perfect. <laughs> the question is, can we get away with a four to six? If I can ever get away with it with my children, I will buy the bigger of the two sizes. Put some clothes on, dear. I will buy the bigger of the two sizes if I can. Stand up. Let's see if these are ridiculous. Uh, maybe they're okay. Maybe that's okay. Maybe actually it's nicer to have it a bit longer. What do we think? Do we like it a bit longer? Yeah. Yeah. Are these bigger ones better? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm preferring that one. So maybe we can get away with it on these dresses at least. So any of these dresses we want to keep, we're going to keep in the bigger yeah. sizes. All of those two ninety nine dresses, I think we're quite happy to get in the bigger size. These dresses that are All different right. sizing, yes, yes. you love those, do you? Yeah. But I think we're going to have to try them on. I'm, I my gut says smaller sizing for these because these were huge, yeah. guys. Oh, that's that's far too big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, great. Zara, I think you have to give up. To, but that looks like a night. <laughs> looks like some sort of night shit. Looks like she's about to be taken off to Neverland by Peter Pan. Come here, Zara. That is way too that big. It looks like Wendy's dress. It does. <laughs> 
ridiculous. Look at the stain on that. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right. Try that. I mean, that is still I can massive. Walk. For a two to four. Mummy, I can walk in the other one. You couldn't. I mean, that no. is still huge. Look at it. What two-year-old would fit in that? <laughs> it is know. massive. But I do love it. What do you think? I like it. Do you like it even though it's huge? Go look yeah. in the mirror. I do love these little floofy sleeve bits. So your Zara's is coming mid shin, or and yours is coming. That's coming just below your knee. So actually, that one seems to be the right size for you. This is a bit big for Zara, but, but I think for Bella, that's going to be the right size. What do you think, girls? What do you think of those? Yeah, so if like we're going to keep these, these would be the sizes. I like the it. two to four I like and the four to six. Okay, so we can we're going to go through. I'm going to have to make a decision about which patterns to keep again. But I just want to go through for sizing now. Um, let's have a look at the leggings. So, oh, Bella, these are supposed to be your size. Oh my gosh, they're actually cropped. Are they cropped? Are they supposed to be cropped leggings? Oh, oh maybe they're, they're not. just tiny. Oh, I'm not sure they're going to be big enough for you. I don't think those leggings are going to be big enough for Bella. No, hang on. What size are they? I'm really confused. Right, maybe some of them are cropped leggings. See, these seem like more full length leggings. I think some of the leggings I've bought are cropped and some of them are full length. Right, Zara, Bells, try those on. Uh, some of them are cropped. Maybe for the summer that's okay. Some of them are cropped leggings. Okay, panic over. Some of them are age seven cropped leggings. I'm not normally a big fan of cropped leggings, but maybe the summer it's okay with little sandals. Right, that's why some of them are ridiculously short. Panic over. Eee. We're just gonna try on the one pair of leggings to check eee. they fit. Age seven leggings, absolutely fine for you. The other ones are cropped, that's cool. Size check, age four, good for Zara. And age seven, good for Bella, in the leggings. Right, on to the next bit, although the leggings from this are from the H&M section because I thought they went really nicely. So stand up on the bed, girlies. So we've got an age four and an age seven. I think they'll work with or without leggings. What do you think of the dinosaur, unicorn and rainbow dresses, girls? Awesome! Oh, awesome, okay, fab. Fab. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. Blue satin sashes. What do you think? Will this work? I'm probably gonna have to cut these, I think. Now I have two girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. These are a few of my favorite things. Now, are these gonna go better with a blue headband or a white headband? Maybe Let's a pop see. of blue. I'll Should try we do one of each. White and zombie. What do we think? Now these headbands. I think white goes more. You think? Yeah. What do you think? White or blue, Zaz? I think white. White. Have a white one then. These are from a pack of loads of headbands I bought on Amazon. I will link these below as well. They're great. They wear these headbands. They're kind of their signature headbands. They've had them for years and years and years. I recently rebought them because some of them had snapped, lost and all sorts, but they're wonderful. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. Rainbows and whiskers and toes and eyelashes. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favourite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad. I simply remember my favourite things and then I don't feel so bad. So these are the sets from Jules that came with matching yeah! leggings. They're more like tunics, like I'm not really sure. I don't know, are these designed to wear without? They could probably wear them without leggings, but they're kind of a with leggings set. What do we think of these, Gillies? Good. You like them Good. too? Yep. You're looking very gorgeous, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we think to the blue with leggings? Keep or yeah, send back? Keep. <laughs> you think keep, do you? Yep. <laughs> what do we think of these, girls? Awesome! awesome. Sarah just said, that is beautiful, which is how you spell it. So this is the yellow one for me. This is actually the bigger one, the size 10. I think this one might be about right, actually. Not too snug. And the girlies, come on, girlies. Come and show everybody. The girlies have got matching And we yellows. have pockets. And they've got pockets. So what do we think, guys? Now, this is the eight. Actually, it doesn't feel very different. No. Maybe it's a bit more snug here, perhaps. So I don't know. Maybe, I think... <laughs> I feel a bit more comfortable in the 10, to be honest, although most of my other Jules clothes are eight. Yeah. Lockdown has been, well, lockdown has been. Let's pop the 10 back on so I'm a bit more comfortable. Like outfit. How do you like it? There's one thing we've forgotten to add. Can try these? Yeah. I will grab mine. 
Yeah, I think the 10 is a bit more, well obviously it's a lot more room, it's a bigger size, but I think I feel a bit more comfortable in it. I don't see the point in trying to cram myself into a size that I was last year because of a number I think I need to buy what I feel comfortable in. But let me know in the comments which one you think looks a bit better. Oh my goodness. Oh, girls, you just like a cuteness explosion in these. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look, look. Oh my goodness, they're my favorite thing ever. Bells, how are you getting on with yours? What do you think, team? Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? Awesome! Thank you for so much for watching. If you, if like, you like this video, video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. Thanks beautiful. Latest videos just across here. Another video you might enjoy from my channel is just down here. Bye!